Hi everyone, I'm Simko Aitovic from Firefly Sci, and today we're going to be calibrating our spectrophotometer using a potassium dichromate kit. Before you start, I recommend you check your spectrophotometer's manual for the procedure they recommend for photometric calibration. I'm going to turn on the spectrophotometer and let it heat up for 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and choose a wavelength to calibrate. For potassium dichromate, there are four different wavelengths you can choose from. I'm going to set our machine for 235 nanometers. Now we have to insert the perchloric acid blank that came in our potassium dichromate kit. When we insert the blank, we're going to get a reading. So now we have to blank the machine with the blank still in the cuvette holder. When the machine is reading zero, we can insert one of the potassium dichromate filters. Let's go with the 20 milligrams per liter filter. Now we'll check the reading against the certificate of calibration. So on the machine, we're showing 0 0.219 and our certificate of calibration is for 20 milligrams per liter at 235 shows 0 0.218 which again we have the tolerance here of 0 0.0034 so this is completely accurate let's go ahead and test the 40 milligrams per liter at 235 nanometers now our machine is showing 0 0.452 and we'll check our certificate again at 40 milligrams per liter and it shows 0 0.2 Four, five, three. So again, this is perfectly calibrated at 235 nanometers using the 40 milligrams per liter standard. When you switch to different wavelengths, you have to insert the blank and blank the machine again. The reason we use the blank is because we only want to measure the absorbance of the potassium dichromate and not the cuvette or the perchloric acid. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please give us a thumbs up and leave us your questions and comments in the comment section below. If you need potassium dichromate filter, you can visit our website at fireflyside.com and look for the calibration kits category. And we'll see you next time.